Hey everyone, Shane here with eTrailer.com. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Optitronics LED side marker lights. These are going to be amber and red combined. These are going to be LED, so they're going to have two diodes, one on each end. Um, red is always going to be in the back. Orange is always going to face towards, or amber is always going to face towards the front. As I mentioned, LED, they're going to last about 50 times longer than an incandescent bulb. Uh, this is going to be a sealed unit, so it's waterproof, basically. You don't you not have to worry about not only not changing balls, but we don't have to worry about water getting inside and damaging it. It's going to be a two-wire system. You have your power, and then you have your ground. It is going to come with the mounting flange. So how you see it here is how it's going to come. Each side here is going to have a hole in it that allows you to mount it. This is a surface mount unit. It is not going to come with a self-tapping screw, depending on where you want to mount it. The lens itself is going to be a durable polycarbonate lens, so it's going to hold up really well. Also, it's going to work with 12 volt systems, so you know pretty much any trailer that you're pulling that has 12 volt power going to it, uh, you're going to be able to use these lights. You'll notice that we have them mounted on the side of the fenders here, so it, it's the most outer part of our trailer. Being LED, it's going to make it very bright and very noticeable at night, so people can see where our outer edge of our trailer is. Now as far as installing these, it's pretty simple and straightforward. You find your, your running light signal inside the trailer. You can pretty much ground it on any metal surface. Depending on where you're going to mount the light will depend on whether you need to add wire to extend. Self tappers do not come with. I highly recommend getting self tappers, wire loom, and loom clamps depending on how you're going to run it. It's going to help keep your wire up tight up against the trailer. Uh, whether you're running outside, inside, along the bottom, whatever it may be, protect your wire so you don't get damaged by outside contaminants. Even with the lights on inside the shop here, uh, it is during the day and our garage doors are open. You can see the LEDs are very bright. You have your amber one, again facing forward, but that LED light is here on the end. So it gives us plenty of, of uh, noticeability from oncoming cars. And the red one is going to give us Anything that's coming up behind us, maybe we're in a, on a three-lane highway or something like that and somebody wants to pass us, they'll be able to see the outside of our fender edge here. Start our installation. You need to determine where you're going to mount your light. Typically, or originally, they had lights back here in the corners and uh, they got damaged and they decided they didn't want to put them there again. They wanted to go with LED lights and they want to put them in a different location. So what we're going to do is we're going to put them right here centered on the wheel well. Red is going to face to the back, orange has got to be towards the front. We're going to put them right here to the outside. What I'm going to do is I'm going to drill a small hole. I might have to go just a little bit bigger. Yeah. Yep. We'll go up one size on our drill bit. Get our wires put in the hole. We'll take some self tappers. We'll go ahead and secure it down to the fender. So somewhere in here. I'm going to drill a hole all the way to the inside, extend my wires and run them in, or at least my black one, my power wire. This is going to be our power wire for our running light signal for the light. If you don't have any wire, you can find some here at E-Trailer. Uh, you can use 12, 14 gauge wire. We're going to add on a heat shrink buck connector since this is going to be outside. We'll add that onto our black wire, coming off our light. And then we need a piece of white wire that we can extend and get it right over to this edge. I just cut a regular piece. We'll go ahead and do the same thing. We'll add our heat shrink butt connector on. And then we'll take our heat source and we'll shrink both of those up. Now 
And I've gone ahead and added some wire loom. Uh, it's really up to you. This is just to protect the wires uh, since it's underneath the fender here. Also, I added a, a loom clamp. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a self tapper and I'm going to put it in right there. That'll hold it up as tight as we can get it up to the top there. And then my ground wire, I'll just run it and ground it right inside of this notch or right inside of this gap here. That'll kind of protect that uh, in case the tire kicks anything up. I'll strip back the ground wire, add a ring terminal. Once we get our outside done, we'll move to the inside and get our wire ran up to uh, the ceiling and connected to our running light signal. Now, as I mentioned, we have wires that run up in this channel up here on both sides. Over on our passenger side, we just have brown and red. The red wire is going to be an accessory wire. Brown wire is going to be our running light signal. We're going to go ahead and test our brown wire just to make sure we have it hooked up to an alternate power source. The red wire is always going to have power because it's coming from a 12 volt power source from our plug. So we know for sure that is correct. Now I'll go ahead and shut my running light signal off and come back and test that wire to make sure that that signal is gone. So all I'm going to use up here to connect my wires is a quick splice connector. We'll get our wires fit in. Go ahead and make sure that it's compressed down. And we can go ahead and get this wire secured to the front side of this post. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cover with wire loom first. And then I'm going to take some loom clamps, three of them. I'll put one down at the bottom, one in the middle, and one right up here at the top. That way it'll hold tight. And when they put cattle in here, or whatever they put in here, um, then we don't have to worry about the wire getting damaged. Now that we've got it installed, we'll go ahead and test it out. Now that we know it's working correctly, we're gonna repeat the process on the other side. Once you've tested both sides out, you're ready to go. It's gonna do it for a look at the Optitronics Amber and Red LED side marker lights.